Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. Chief Minister Navin Patnaik ordered Wednesday the withdrawal of 48,018 trivial cases against people belonging to scheduled tribes, officials informed in Bhubaneswar. Out of the total cases, 36,581 were filed by the Excise Department, 9,846 by Home Department and 1,591 by the Forest and Environment Department. The Barbati Stadium will be demolished completely and reconstructed again to give it a new and modern look, Odisha Cricket Association Secretary Sanjay Behera said Wednesday in Katak. Earlier in the day, 5T Chairman Karthik Pandian visited the venue and held discussions on this aspect. The BCCI, OCA and Odisha government will be involved in the project, officials said. The decomposed carcass of a tusker was found Wednesday by some locals at Baliyama foothill under Jamankira range of Bamra Forest Division in Sambalpur district. Forest department officials informed that the elephant may have died four to five days ago due to infighting with the herd. Gopalpur MLA Pradeep Kumar Panigrahi, who was expelled from the Biju Janata Dal in 2020, joined the BJP Wednesday in Bhubaneswar. He was welcomed to the party by BJP's Odisha President Manmohan Samal and other senior leaders. Police arrested Wednesday Kundu Mahapatra, a servitor at the Lingaraj Temple in Bhuvaneshwar, for allegedly misbehaving with a female foreign national. As per the complaint filed by the foreigner, the incident took place at the north gate of the temple. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh will visit Odisha Thursday, BJP State President Manmohan Samal informed Wednesday. Rajnath will attend meetings at Nabrangpur and Barampur and review the preparations of the party for the upcoming Lok Sabha and Assembly polls in Odisha. Odisha Vigilance Department sleuths arrested Wednesday Senior Revenue Assistant of Muribahal Tehsil in Bolangir district, Heblet Barla, while accepting a bribe of Rs 10,000 from a person in a land mutation case. He had allegedly demanded Rs 20,000 from the complainant for settling a mutation case. Haryana police hurled Wednesday tear gas shells to disperse farmers from Punjab at Shambhu and Khanauri border points as they tried to move towards the barricades stalling their protest march to Delhi. Union Agriculture Minister Arjun Munda meanwhile proposed another round of talks with the farmers' unions for a peaceful solution. In a huge relief for the India bloc, Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav said Wednesday that seat sharing for the Lok Sabha polls in Uttar Pradesh is nearly complete. Sources said that out of the 80 seats, Samajwadi Party will contest in 62, Congress in 17, and Chandrasekhar Azad's Samaj Party in one. The Election Commission has directed the Railway Board to ensure smooth and hassle-free train movement for more than 3.4 lakh security personnel who will be deployed for the upcoming General and Assembly elections with specific instructions to avoid recurrence of delays. The poll panel has sought setting up of a 24-7 control room which will oversee this mega cross-country movement of the troops. Eminent jurist and senior Supreme Court advocate Fali Nariman reached his last Wednesday at his residence in New Delhi. He was 95. The noted jurist was conferred the Padma Bhushan in 1991 and Padma Vibhushan in 2007. He was appointed Solicitor General of India in 1972 but resigned three years later, protesting against the emergency imposed by former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Iconic radio host Amin Sayani breathed his last Wednesday in Mumbai after suffering a massive heart attack. He was 91. Sayani was a household name for generations captivating audiences with his melodious voice and engaging style. Star Indian batter Virat Kohli has announced that he and his actor wife Anushka Sharma have been blessed with a baby boy February 15. With abundant happiness and our hearts full of love, we are pleased to inform everyone that on 15th February, we welcomed our baby boy Akai and Vamika's little brother into this world, Kohli informed in an Instagram post. Kohli has given the ongoing series against England a miss to be with his family. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.